Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great weekend. I just came out of my two week quarantine. And of course the first thing I did when I came out of the quarantine, straight to the Emirates. Picked up this jersey, or I should say my wife actually got me an early birthday present. So thank you to her. Um, you should all check out the top shop. They've got great things for all Arsenal fans. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about today's match. Of course, we are away to Everton. We're up in Liverpool, playing at Goodison. Um, it's going to be a very hard game. All games are hard for the team at the moment, considering the run that they're on and the form that they're in. Um, of course, again, we had another disappointment in the last match. We only managed a 1-1 draw at home to Southampton. And we were losing that game for a long time um, and of course we had another sending off another red card our defender got sent off um, hopefully today will be better for us i honestly think like i said it's going to be a massive struggle for the team what arteta does now before the game is vital the game is just a couple of hours away team selection tactics i mean everything are really in form if my reports are correct, James Rodriguez is back fit again and he has been tormenting teams all season. So if he gets his way, it could be a really painful afternoon for Arsenal fans. Um, not be negative about it, it's just the run that the team are on. Um, really, really bad form and bad play. I actually I watched the highlights on match of the day of the Southampton game. And I've been supporting the club 25 years, I'll tell you exactly what I saw. As soon as Southampton got the ball, the Arsenal defence evaporated. The midfield were non-existent, I mean the space that Theo Walker, for example had to exploit was just criminal. I mean, he should never be allowed that much room, we're the home side. As soon as they got the ball in the midfield we looked in trouble, nobody was going into the tackle. No one was going into the tackle. No one was going to ground, going in hard. It's all part of the game too. As soon as Southampton got the ball in midfield, it was one pass and Walcott was in. And the space he had, you could drive a bus through it. He just ran straight in on goal with the ball and finished. I mean, Leno had no chance. You can't blame him. There was no defense and the midfield, they just parked it like the Red Sea and let him through. That's exactly what I saw now. It was just one pass and they were in and the defence and the midfield, there was no cohesion, they just fell apart. Nobody even got close to make a tackle. They were there, but they were just kind of jockeying him for position and trying to just hold him on the outside. I mean, he must have thought all his birthdays had come at once. He just slid the ball through, the World Cup was in. I mean, he had a field there. He's not a bad player, don't get me wrong. I like him, I saw him play live. I know what he's capable of but it made him look really really good because we we just the midfield and the defense just gave so much space and so much room we should have been dead and buried at halftime to be honest i mean the one player that stood out for me for arsenal of course Aubameyang got the goal he got the equalizer but the one player that stood out for me in sean Chirod, was of course with kyle saka absolutely wonderful performance from him the guy's only 19 years of age don't forget that he was running the show for us in the forwards he played a lovely little ball to Aubameyang for the goal he was causing mayhem every time he got the ball he had one thing on his mind and he was flying forward with the ball that's the way you should be fast quick not giving him a chance to settle he was causing Southampton all kinds of problems I mean he was really he knew he had the good the tempo, the rhythm, he had he had a good feeling for it. As soon as he got the ball, one thing on his mind, he was flying forward. And he wasn't looking to draw the foul. He was looking to do something. He wasn't just looking to go over in the penalty box. He was looking to play the ball the whole time. I was very impressed with him, wonderful player. He should start today, no matter. It doesn't matter who we have on the bench, what players we have. Lacazette should not play. Aubameyang. It's kind of hard to leave him out of the team, but he's not in form. Pepe, yet to prove himself, he cost 52 million when we signed him. He's done nothing so far. 
Ozil, for example, I don't think he'll ever play for the club again, thankfully. He's a non-runner. Shaka, he should never play for the team again. We need to get rid of him. El Nene, liability. To the fence, Gabriel, I mean, his sending off, completely needless. What he was thinking, why he went in on Walcott like that, who knows. I mean, Walcott's a professional, he's been around a long time, but he shouldn't have let him go in on him like that, I mean. I don't know, it's very uncertain. The whole team, I fear the worst for today, to be honest, because they're playing really, really bad. Um, yeah. It's one of the worst Arsenal teams I can remember in a long, long time. It'll be all the way back to the end of George Graham or Bruce Rioch. I mean, we had problems with Wenger. We wanted him out. That was the right decision. The team were falling apart. Then came along Unai Emery. Man couldn't even understand English in fairness to him. Struggled a lot with the language. His tactics were absolutely, I mean, back in the Stone Age. Arteta came in, got off to a good start. He was doing well, and I like the guy. I mean, no, I've been no secret around my videos. I like Arteta. Now the team is really, really struggling, and today is a mountain to climb. Every single game now for me seems to be a very hard game. Because even when a team is doing good, when we go back to the time of Burkamp, Henri, Robert Perez, Patrick Vieira, Emmanuel Petit, guys like this, World Cup winners, a lot of them. You go back to guys like that, the games were tough, but we had that quality to squeeze through. We had the quality. Now, we don't have the quality. The games are tough and every team is up for it. And they all know how to play against Arsenal. Get physical, step in on them. Just like Southampton did. So, it's going to be a very hard season for us. The rest of the season is really in doubt. We need to get a few wins. Um, every game now for me seems to be hard because the team are just playing really, really, really below par. Um, our players are somewhat overrated too. They're not doing the business. And we are facing a very tough challenge against Everton away today. If we got a point out of the game, to be honest, I'd be happy. Of course, I'd be delighted if we get a win, but let's be realistic. With the team that we have and the way they're playing, if we can just survive and get a point, it would be a massive, massive result. Um, I honestly think we're gonna lose. I'll be honest, because they have a very good team and they're very strong, they're at home and we will crumble. And we're not scoring goals. We're just not scoring goals. There's a real lack of goals in the team. Um, I'm taking it game by game now. You should too. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Of course, look forward to the game and enjoy it. As bad as it gets. And hopefully we'll end the game with 10 players. Or 11 players, I mean, sorry. Hopefully we'll end the game with 11 players instead of 10. And there'll be no red cards. And hopefully Aubameyang won't score a classy OG like he did. Uh, two games ago. So, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Please comment, of course, in the comment section below. I will reply to anyone in the comments. Like I said, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Stay healthy, stay safe, and enjoy the match. Come on, you Gunners.